All right, welcome to my channel. So the first thing that you need to know before you start watching my videos is the purpose of this channel is for education and entertainment, mostly education with some entertainment and uh, mostly for my students really. It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to showcase my algorithm and for my students to, to see it working and me to be able to talk about the trades and why I'm taking the trades and things like that. This is not a channel where I'll be showing you that I'm making millions of dollars. So family rules, you won't be seeing that. Some traders out there want to put their stuff out. I don't even know why they do that. Like, And social media in a public sphere, hey, look at me. I made 20000 today, 50000 today, you know, all that stuff. That will not happen on this channel. The most you'll see me making here is anywhere from 50 bucks to 1000 bucks in a day would be the most once we get to that level of scaling. And then I'll reset and we'll be looking at 50 bucks, and we'll be scaling back to, you know, 1000 a, a day or so. Um, and we'll just keep resetting that scaling. But family rules will not be showing you on this uh, my social media that I'm making tons of money. Second thing is I'm trading with Thinkorswim. That's my platform that you see here on the screen. So you got my two windows um, on futures trading. Same thing would be Thinkorswim. Um, so you'll see that I trade futures and the equities market with these videos. I trade based off of my algorithm, the simple switch algorithm, and it's got different settings. Same algo, but different settings for futures market. For equities market and different types of uh, trading it's got different settings for it so i'll be trading off of that links below if you're interested in learning more about the algo all the education over there is free um, as well as the trading log that you'll see you can get the link below which will give you that log um, so you can um, go over there and explore all that stuff so when you're looking at my screen okay now when you're looking at my screen you'll see these uh the chart markups and you'll see yellow wherever i put yellow is an entry so when it's yellow like this it's the algo um, ideal entry and then you may see a yellow like this and that is where I actually got in and it'll be touching the candle that I got in on and then the location. Red are my stops, green are my targets. And then if you want to learn how the algo works so you can better understand what I'm doing when I'm doing my trades over at the link below. You can go over there and learn all about the algo. It's completely free for that whole education. It's free from, to learn about my trading plan, my strategy, everything that I teach about trading is free over there. Only thing that costs money is if you decided to buy the algo, then that would cost money. But you can apply a lot of the stuff that I teach over there, including my strategy and trading plan, to your own strategies and uh, and help maybe improve your game. So all that is definitely free. I don't charge for any of that education. Uh, only the algo if that's something you decided to uh, add to your list. So then sometimes you'll see on here my, me doing experiments, um, which I'm going to try to do another one later on this year when I get a little more time. Um, but I love to do trading experiments. We blow up accounts, um, but we do it uh, in the purpose of education, showing you that certain trading techniques or strategies sometimes uh, just don't work. And uh, we, we play with some different concepts and uh, blow up accounts, real accounts, small accounts, but still real accounts. And you'll also see some small accounts as well. Like when we do offshore brokers and things like that. So, and then uh, of course, educational videos I'll be putting out as well. So there's a lot of different content here. So if you can give me the like, hit, hit the like button. That would help me a lot with the uh, YouTube. And uh, if you subscribe and hit that bell icon, you can be notified whenever I upload uh, new content. And the last thing, but probably the most important thing is trading is very risky. Do not place a trade based on what you see here or whatever I say. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, if it sounds like I'm telling you what to do, it's me just thinking out loud. And, you know, most traders will lose all of their money. I am strictly speculating. I do not have a crystal ball. So, you know, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So please do not take financial advice from me. This is uh, strictly to talk about how I trade, to teach about how I do things and for your entertainment. All right. So now the legal stuff is out of the way. Let's get into today's trades. So this one is rad. Um, so we got, we had some losers on rad and we had two losers on it and it's got a really good success rate, but we had two in a row, which is very rare, but that makes me feel like the probability here is much higher that this will be successful. It just has to close above 19, uh, 1950, um, 1950, 1960 area. And if it can close around there, then we'll be good to go. I'll jump in this trade here at 355. And then we'll see how rad does. Uh, but right now there's our target and then our stop is down here. I'll make that red um, right there. All right. So I'm going to stick around for five more minutes, place this trade. 
All right, traders. So I got my, uh, let's put my share size in here. Our risk is 271. So we're doing 100 shares based on the scaling ladder, actually 120 shares. All right. So our price. It's my alarm telling me it's time to trade. 355. And we are above uh, 1950 as I alerted. So I'm going to go ahead and hit buy and send. All right, so now we're in with our 120 shares at uh, 1965. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my entry here, change my color to yellow. Oh, didn't want to hit OK, go back in, edit uh, 65. All right, so I'm in at 1965, and then I'm going to go put my OCO order in for my stop. Okay, so I got my OCO in um, and make sure I made sure that I put my GTC so this didn't cancel at the end of the day. It'll carry forward until this target's hit or until my stop is hit. That's it. I set this, forget it, don't have to worry about it. It'll text my phone when this trade com concludes and uh, I can focus on other things. So, yep, so there's that swing. I'll try to keep you updated on it and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so here we are with uh, RAD right now, Rite Aid. So, uh, positions long 50. I'm not sure what happened here. I think, uh, okay, there we go. I was like, uh, maybe I didn't get all my position out. All right, there we go. So there's a uh, rad. I knew we had more positions than 50, but it sold part and then it backed up and it got the rest out. So I alerted this uh, back here on um, on the swing trades. And if you're getting my swing trade alerts and you got it right, right around here. Um, so we jumped in. Our stop was uh, down here, which I'm going to go ahead and close this order. Um, our stop was down here. I don't know why I had that as a... A limit to, I don't know what happened there but anyway it doesn't matter so there was our stop it came down almost got a stopped out and then nice rally for profit today so that'll be nice to add to the log today nice uh, extra 196 so we'll be putting that in the log and then we'll go check it out and then uh, let's look at our other swing trade while we're at it Roku slowly uh, slowly making its way Roku come on you can do it so we'll, uh, we'll see hopefully Roku can get, hit that target by the end of the month um, that'll be pretty nice but uh, it's slowly taking its time getting there. So anyways, that's where we're at. All right, so here we are in the swing trade log with that closing trade of uh, RAD. So pretty sweet. Um, we got a good entry um, once we average down. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it turned out really, really nice. So risk 268, made 319, and uh, put 478 bucks in the pocket. So again, uh, as I showed you before, the uh, P&L day that you see doesn't, you know, that's, that's not your full. That's just what happened today. That's not the full trade. Um, I wish there was a window up here where you can put the full trade. I'm like, I don't know. How, I don't know. Um, I haven't been able to figure that out. I even called Thinkorswim and they're like, just go to the tab and whatever you got there is what you got. I'm like, okay, great, thanks. But I wish it showed you the full PL of the trade, not just of the day, but is what it is. So, anyway, so there we are. So that's, uh, that's today. So, June is uh, looking pretty good so far with the swing trades. The swing trade account's growing nicely, uh, nice and slow. But uh, growing just as it should. So if we go over and look at the um, dashboard, right here on the dashboard. So the month of June, 1800 so far with uh, day trades and all that other stuff included. If you're interested in this log, there is a link um, in the description below where you can go and get more information on this log. Check it out. And uh, even if you don't want mine or buy mine, but if you go check it out um, and scroll through all the different stuff that it has and like the videos and whatnot, you might get some ideas on. The way you can build one for yourself if you're uh, if you're good with Excel, you can totally build this yourself. But uh, if you want to save a week's or two uh, two weeks of worth of time, uh, you can grab it over there for a pretty cheap. Um, so anyway, so that's on the log, and then look at the scaling ladder. Uh, we are slowly, very slowly getting there, uh, but we will get there slowly as it grows. But that gets exponential. So you know we get into the thousand dollar range down here, but we'll just con constantly tick away at this. And uh, see if we get a bunch more trades in here. And we got one trade still open in uh, Roku. And uh, hopefully that will close this month and we can um, make some more money. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for this video. And we'll see you on the next swing trade. If you're interested in uh, getting my swing trade alerts, um, you can go over to the a link below and uh, check out my swing trade alerts. If, if I send out more losing alerts than winning alerts in a month, then I refund that month. So I'm only uh, charging my subscribers when I'm sending out more winners and losers. And uh, you can check that out. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this swing trade video. So we'll see you in the next one.